If you have to troubleshoot something in Windows 11, there are usually a lot of resources available, but not all errors are common. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're going to talk about how you can fix the your IT administrator has limited access issue in Windows 11. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is open up your uh, registry editor. So what I'm going to do here is uh, type in reg edit and press enter. This will open up the registry editor and now I am going to go to this path that I'm showing you right here. Uh, this path will be in the description below so you can refer to it if you want. In here, you will see the Windows Defender key that we are looking for. So let me just close this right here. This Windows Defender key, what you have to do is right click and then delete it. Uh, Windows will ask for a confirmation. Uh, we are sure that we want to delete this because this is what is going to help fix our issue. So go ahead and click yes, then restart your PC and the error should probably be gone. The next step is to terminate and repair Windows security. Uh, the way we do that is the first thing that we have to do is just press the start menu and search for Windows security. When you're here, right click this and head over to app settings. Now uh, in the app settings, there will be certain things that we need to do in order. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on this terminate button to terminate the Windows uh, security process. And then you can either try repairing. So you first try repairing Windows security. And if that doesn't work, you go ahead and uh, completely reset it using these buttons. So terminate, then repair. If that doesn't work, then terminate and reset. Uh, once this process is done, uh, restart your PC or at least sign out and sign back in just to give uh, your environment a refresh. And uh, it all should be working fine again. Next up is to run the security health checkup. Now, this is a very small utility from Microsoft, the link for which I'll put on the screen and in the description below. So you can go ahead and download it and run it on your system. It's an executable file that you double click to run and it automatically patches everything in your Windows installation uh, related to Windows security, of course. So uh, try running that file a shot as well. And finally, we are going to check for Windows updates because such issues are also often solved with a Windows update. So what you have to do for that is press Windows key plus I to bring up the Windows settings menu. And in here, uh, we're going to click on Windows updates, the last option in this menu. Now, uh, as you can see, I am up to date, but I can just click this button right here to check for updates real quick and give it a few minutes. And if there are any updates pending, uh, especially regarding to your uh, security software like Windows Security, make sure to uh, get all of these updates, restart your PC and then try again. Alternatively, so as you can see, I had this update pending from uh, Windows Def Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Uh, this is a current channel upgrade, so it's a little bit different from the update that kind of update that we're looking for. But uh, this will still make sure that you're on the final and the latest update. Alternatively, just make sure that all other uh, programs like uh, Malwarebytes, any other antiviruses that you have are disabled. It's not recommended that you run more than one antivirus on your system at a time. So just make sure that every other antivirus on your system is disabled and then try again. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.